This one is rapping, oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend when they lay me down. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, you guys already read the title. It's three tips. It's my three tips on how to become a better YouTuber. Now, the reason why I'm giving you guys these tips in the first place is because when I went to the MyPlex forums, the YouTube section part, um, I'm always seeing threads like, uh, "Can you please check out this? Can you please check out that?" I'm e even receiving a lot of mail um, and notifications saying that, "Hey, can you check out my content? I know a YouTuber and all, but..." If you don't mind, please Spence, can you like check out my content, give me some feedback, suggestions, and all that. Now I want to do that for every single U small YouTuber out there, but there's only one of me, so I think it's best for me to put it in a video like this one. Okay, so let's start, shall we? Um, I got my paper here, and let's go over. Number one, captions. You, I cannot stress to you guys enough how important captions are. I put captions. Cap here. Captions on my videos all the time. Um, they don't have to be anything too big. They they shouldn't be too. Sh they shouldn't be too long. They should. You shouldn't write a whole life story into your um caption. But like um a sentence or so, sometimes even a phrase. One word should should be enough. Um, the reason why I say captions are important is because it allows you to interact with your audience more. Uh, I'll put an example. Survival games. Um, I want to just upload a gameplay of a regular s survival games. Now, I don't want to use my voice. I, I don't know what the problem is. Um, my mic sucks. My mic broke. Uh, sore throat. You can't speak for some reason. And the reason captures are so important is that it fills the silence. I want to put quote unquote silence. You're not talking, but the captures fill puts more um, content in your. In your video so that way your audience can re react interact with them more um, following caption is your font now there's a lot of fonts out there that you can download no they don't give you viruses if you go to davfont.com d-a-f-o-n-t.com there's a lot of fonts you can choose from um i'll give you three of my most used fonts one is flesh of beasts that's the one that it's usually symbol by the read the chat thing on the top left of my screen. Yeah, that font is uh, Feed the Beast or Flesh of Beast. I don't know what it's called. I used it for long and I still don't know how you and I fell here. That was a terrible moment. So, Flesh of Beast is important. The reason why I started using that in the first place is because of the is because of PewDiePie montages. Um, the one of the the other font I use the most is uh, it's Minecrafter and. Actually, there's four. There's Minecrafter, Ace Attorney, and uh, what was it? Bank Gothic. Bank Gothic is used in a lot of um, popular movie shows. If you look up Hunger Games, the the font in the title is Bank Gothic. Um, I'll, I'll write the names down in the description so you guys can try to find it. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. Those are based off of Bank, Bank Gothic. Their whole their whole series is based off that font, so it's kind of important. Now the reason why I'm saying font is very important is because it emphasizes your speaking. Now the reason why I use Flesh of Beast a lot is because of it it puts my emotions out there. Your font describes how you talk without you actually talking, if that makes any sense. So if I if I was to sh like, let's say I was to shout in a video, I wouldn't use Times New Roman with a lot of exclamation parts to prove my point. I would use a very special font to um, emphasize what I was saying, how, how I was feeling that time. So that's why I say font is more important. Font, now it's not as more important, but it's still important to your video making and caption skill editing, whatever. Um, second tip, thumbnails, your intros. Now I'm not saying go get a 3D intro or your animated cinema 4D After Effects stuff. No, I'm just making a good intro that can capture the video, your captain, not your video, capture your audience's attention. Um, people always think it's a requirement for every YouTuber to have a very cool intro, but that's not it. It just it just has to be something that can capture the um the audience's attention. That's it. Um, going back, thumbnails, thumbnails, please. I don't care about any thumbnails as long as they're not copied from someone else. Like if I, like for example, um, 
trying to think of a lot of YouTubers. Captain Sparkle, Sky Does Minecraft, Beijing Kid. So they made a thumbnail, and you saw it on Google Images. Don't use that exact same thumbnail. Just make make your own, please. Like, there's no such thing as a crappy or crappy or or majestic thumbnail. It just has to appeal to the audience. Like my dominate my dominate montages one, the one that this is like. Myplex dominate then a weird picture in the middle. Yeah, it does. It's not the best, but it just catches the um My audience my subscribers attention long enough so that when they can click the video So that's my second tip My third tip is the sounds and audio Now there's a lot more tips out there, but I just think that these three are the major ones So let's go back sounds audio now the reason why I say that's important 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 is because I see so many YouTubers, and I mean a lot of YouTubers, putting um, <laughs> dubstep into a peaceful gameplay. Here's for an example. See what I mean? I don't want like ch just choose appropriate music for the appropriate times. Like, if you had a cat whiskers and you are petting it, you don't want dubstep in the background, now do we? Um, just put. Uh, wait. No, I'm not gonna. Okay, so I can say, I can say, I can say, I can say. So the one of the one of the YouTubers I copy a lot, so, uh, music choice wise, is Mr. Sark. And Vanos. Now, of course, Vanos is one of the bigger, big, bigger games out there. But the reason why he gets a lot of views is because of his music choice. And now, I'm not joking about that. If you guys go to his videos, watch it, and focus on his music choice, you'll be, you'll be amazed. Well, I'm amazed. I'm not sure about you guys. You guys don't know the editing part. Yet. I'm amazed at how his music choice goes so well with the gameplay during that time. It just flows so smoothly. I, as an editor, always look out for that. I always watch every YouTuber. I don't judge on their content. I just go like, oh, this is how they edit? Okay, I think I could use that. Oh, this is pretty cool. I think I can use this too. I don't always go, man, this, this is bad. No, there's always room for improvement, so I can't really call anyone bad. When I started off, I used the cheap intros from, um, not cheap intros, the, the, ah, uh, what is it? I just had a gameplay with a weird music in the background. It's like Captain Sparkles or something. It was terrible. I cringed. I think I deleted that video. I just couldn't watch it. So, um, that's that goes safe for audio uh, sound effects. Now there are some sound effects that you guys can use. Uh, I think one of my most used one is the fart noise, as well as a League of Legends double kill, triple kill. Double kill. Now, before I go any further, I don't want your sound effects. Your sound effects should not be louder than your commentary voice, your commentary volume. It shouldn't be any louder. I've seen so many like, uh, you guys know the MLG Call of Duty quick scopes, those weird green screen, ah, uh, kind of thing. Yeah, it sh it shouldn't be like that. It really shouldn't be like that unless you're intended to, unless your video is intended for that purpose. Please don't try to do that. I really don't want. My ears to bleed after one sound effect so that's my that's like the for audio it has to smooth like smoothly it has to flow smoothly i can't stress enough um oh hello I, lo I lost my train of thought here i was watching my own video for a second hold up okay yeah I, like your audio should not be all over the place if you guys listen listen to your own um your own rendered or pre your edited video you should you get you guys can keep I'm sorry I can't speak today um they should all flow smoothly that's all I can say just watch your own videos time to time again lower adjust your volume either higher or lower than it should be so that way it can adjust to the gameplay volume um I have made many of those mistakes in 
um, in my pastime. Even the one, if you guys look at the PJX, uh, the Three Stooges video, you can see that one, my volume or PJX's volume is a bit quieter than the other, and that was my mistake. I didn't, um, and then, then uh, I didn't put that into the equation. I don't know. That's a weird saying. So, that's all the tips that I have for you guys. Just remember captions, font, thumbnails, and your sound audio. Yeah. Peace!